All right, y'all, right in the crock pot, I have about three chicken breasts. All right, so uh, yeah, just, just eyeball it, but I'm just gonna put these right on the bottom. I guess if they're upside down, it's all right, don't matter. It's gonna cook the same. All right, next to this, I have a bottle of this Parmesan garlic sauce. This stuff tastes real good, y'all, so guess what? Right on in, right on in. I'm gonna try and get it all out. All right. All right, and now, you know what, y'all? We're gonna need a little more sauce, a little more liquid in here. So what we gonna do, we're gonna take this bottle. There's still some in here. I'm gonna pour some milk in here, some whole milk. Good old fashioned whole milk, all right? I'm gonna fill this all the, all, most of the way. We need to leave a little room, because guess what we gonna do now, y'all? Guess what we gonna do? We are gonna shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. Fred just backed up, because he was nervous that the lid wasn't on, but guess what it is? We're just gonna shake this up. All right, once you have a little shake, I'm gonna pour this on. So I would say about a cup of milk. All right, right on in, just like that, y'all. This is so easy and delicious. Next here, we have eight ounces of cream cheese. Guess what? I'm using my hand, all right, here we go. So I'm gonna put this in here, just kind of wherever, wherever it falls. I'll try and get it all. Man, it's sticky, it's sticky. It's making my hands dirty, y'all. Maybe I should wear some gloves, ha, ha, ha. Just kidding, no gloves here, no gloves here. Just like that. All right, next, I have some Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna use about, I don't know, a little more than half this bag. What is this, six ounces? We're gonna use a little more than half. So we're just gonna sprinkle this right on top. I'm just gonna eyeball it, all right, uh, a little more. A little extra cheese never hurt anybody, y'all, all right? And then what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna give it a little mix, just a little bit. We're gonna leave the chicken at the bottom, but we're just gonna kinda Get this cheese wet, make sure the cream cheese is in there, kind of push everything down. All right, I love making crock pot meals because you just put everything in here and then you go. You go live your day, do whatever you need to do. Feed your cats, feed your husband. Just kidding, uh huh? All right, here we go. Just like that, all right, y'all. Uh, that looks good, right? I think that looks good so far. All right, the chicken's covered with the liquid, that's what we want. We got one more step for now. I'm gonna take, let's see, my hands are dirty, so I'm gonna take some Green onion, I'm just gonna put it right on top. I think that's good, that's good. All right, and we don't really need to season anything because that sauce I put in there has enough seasoning. It's very flavorful, y'all. Y'all are gonna love this. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cover this bad boy up and we're gonna cook it on high for about three hours until the chicken's done. And then we have one more step, but this is gonna be the most delicious dinner. Y'all are gonna love it. All right, y'all, take a look in there. Look at all that steam. So uh, this is, and my crock pot cooks pretty fast. So I had it on high for one hour and then low for two hours. So now our next step here is to cut up the chicken. So I think uh, we had three chicken breasts in here. So I'm just gonna cut it to make sure it's done. Ooh, I just got some in my eye. Yep, it's perfectly done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shred this chicken up, all right? All right, y'all, so I shredded up the chicken pretty good here, all right? It's still steaming, this smells real good. So now what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna leave my utensils in. So I cooked some pasta. This was a 12 ounce package of these bow ties. So I'm just gonna dump this right on in. Y'all can use rotini or whatever kind of pasta you'd like, but I like these. So about 12 ounces is good. So now we're just gonna toss this all together. We're gonna mix this, toss this, y'all. This, this smells so good. And uh, yeah, so again, in my crock pot, which cooks real fast, I had it on high for one hour and low for two hours. So. Um, I think if I would have just done low, I probably would have done about four to five hours and high. It might have been done in two, but that's what I did. All right, so I'm going to mix this a little bit more. This looks so good, y'all. This smells so good, too. I'm so excited. So excited. All right, y'all. Guess what time it is. Got my bowl right here. And put some right in the bowl. All right, we're just going to put a little bit in there because it's going to be real hot. So I'm gonna move this crock pot to the side. And now we're gonna try it, y'all. All right. Y'all, it's gonna be so hot. So guess what? Guess what that means? It's time to stall. You know, I'm just gonna eat one noodle because then if I blow on it a little bit, but I guess I should get some of the chicken too. Okay, I got a little shred of chicken. Look how hot that is. I don't wanna burn my mouth. All right, y'all. Mmm, mmm. Okay, y'all. This might be the best thing I've made in a long time. Y'all have to try this, it's so good, mm. All right, y'all, red enchilada sauce. We're just gonna coat the bottom of the pan, all right? That's how much you need. Next, 
large flour tortilla right on top. You just push it in. If y'all wanna use corn, you can. My husband Fred likes flour better. All right, for our next layer, right here, y'all, I have eight ounces of cream cheese. I warmed it up in the microwave, all right? And to that, we're gonna add one can of beans. So I have these uh, refried beans. I actually love this brand, it tastes so good. They're a little pricey, but they're real good. If y'all like black beans instead or whole pinto beans, you can do that, but I love these refried beans. So we're gonna add one whole can of these beans to our eight ounces of cream cheese, and we're gonna mix this up, all right? And y'all, this is one of my favorite crock pot meals to make. It's so delicious. It's so easy, you just kind of throw everything in and then you let it cook up. So you're just gonna give this a nice little mix. All right, so now we're gonna take, so it depends on, we're, we're doing a layered little taco dish here. So we're gonna take, we're just gonna make a nice thin layer. We're gonna do two to three layers here. We're gonna see how much we have. So we're gonna take some of this bean and cream cheese mixture and we're just gonna spread it on the bottom of our tortilla, all right, like so. And if you don't spread it perfect, that's totally fine. As it heats up, it's gonna spread out by itself. All right, we can do a little bit more. All right, y'all, just like that. That looks perfect. This is gonna be so good. And I did spray the bottom of my, my crock pot here, but y'all don't have to if you don't want to, all right? So next after that here, I already cooked this, but this is ground beef. I cooked two pounds of ground beef with one cup of salsa and one packet of taco seasoning. All right, so we're gonna take this and layer this right on top of our cream cheese mixture, our cream cheese and our beans, all right, just like that. And again, I love doing this because it don't have to be perfect, y'all. It's gonna heat up nicely in the crock pot, so that's it. All right, on top of this, we're gonna do some cheese. I have this Fiesta blend, and we're just gonna sprinkle this right on top, all right? Nice layer of cheese, nice layer of cheese. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but maybe I'm not, I think I'm okay. I think I'm good. All right, there we go. All right, so now on top of this, we're gonna add the rest of our can of enchilada sauce, all right? So we're gonna do a nice drizzle right on top, just like that. All right, y'all, this is gonna be so good. Y'all are gonna love this. You know what, I actually have two cans, so it depends on what you like. I usually use about one and a half cans total for this recipe, but if you like it a little juicier, you can use, you can use all of it. We're gonna do another tortilla, just like that, and then we're gonna do some more of this mixture, all right? So I think for this, I'm just gonna do two layers. We're gonna top it with a third tortilla, but we're gonna put the rest of our bean and cream cheese mixture right here on top of this one, all right? And y'all also, if you wanna do a low carb, you can. You can, even, you can even layer this in here without the tortillas. Totally customizable, all right? I love this, it's this gonna be so good. Mm-mm, I can't wait, y'all. So excited. All right, so again, we're just gonna spread this out real good. Just like that, look at that, that's so easy. All right, and now we're gonna take the rest of our meat. So maybe I should have put more meat on the bottom layer, but again, y'all, it don't matter, all right? So we're making a taco lasagna here. Taco lasagna in the crock pot. You're just layering everything on in, in between tortillas. Y'all are gonna love this, all right? There we go, and now, now we're gonna do here some more of our Fiesta blend cheese right on top. Nice little sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, and then y'all, one more, a little bit more of this red sauce. We want it to be juicy, all right? But remember, I cooked that ground beef with some salsa. So yeah, I used about a can and a half here. We're gonna do one more tortilla on top. And now this tortilla, we're gonna top with some extra sharp cheddar, all right? Extra sharp cheddar right on top. Y'all can use as much or as little cheese as you'd like. Now my family loves cheese, so we use a lot of cheese, but if you don't like cheese, you don't have to use as much, or you can leave it off. Finally, we're gonna put a little sprinkle here of green onion right on top. All right, y'all? So this is all cooked already. Everything we put in here is cooked, but we just gotta, kinda gotta heat it up. So you can either put it on low for like four to six hours or on high for two to three hours, and I'm so excited to show y'all how I finish off my delicious taco lasagna. All right, y'all, look at this. The cheese is nice and melted. So this has been in my crock pot on high for about two hours, maybe two and a half. So remember y'all, you can do this on low for longer or on high. So let's try some, look, it's still bubbling. I'm, I'm hungry though, so we gonna cut into this. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to get this out, but we're just gonna use our knife. Oh yeah, y'all, look at this. This is a delicious taco lasagna made right in your crock pot. And you know what y'all, you can customize this however you like. That's, a, that's my favorite thing about these dishes. A lot of them, you can just do it however you'd like. So. I use ground beef 
I used uh, refried beans mixed with cream cheese. I used cheese and some other stuff that I already forgot. So let's let's dig in, y'all. This is gonna be so good. All right, we use that enchilada sauce too. So I'm gonna try and get a, I, I don't know if this is gonna keep its shape. I don't think it's going to, but that's okay. We're just gonna take it out like so. Okay, you know what, that's all right. All right, we're gonna put some right on our plate. Taco lasagna. All right, let me get a little bit more of this. This looks good, y'all. Let me put the rest of my, my slice right there. Move my crock pot over. So now what we gonna do here, I'm gonna top this off. So y'all can do whatever you'd like, but I like sour cream with my tacos and with my taco lasagna, we're gonna put another piece. So it's right on top, cause I want it to look pretty. I also like guacamole. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that right on top too. All right, y'all look at that. Now don't that look pretty? That looks so pretty. Y'all can put more sauce on this if you'd like. I know I got a lot of fan of black olives out here. I forgot to get some though. So you know what y'all, it's time to try this. We got our tortillas. Remember, we just layered everything in the crock pot, y'all. That's gonna be so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, y'all. Mm. It's gonna be hot, but I don't care. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, y'all. Seriously, this is so good. You have to try it. All right, one package of elbow noodles, y'all. And now we're gonna take two and a half cups of whole milk. All right, so if y'all want to use skim milk, you can, but you know what? Go big or go home. That's what I say. So you might as well use the whole milk. It makes it taste real good. So this is one of my favorite uh, mac and cheese dishes to make. You just put everything in the crock pot, including your dry noodles, and it cooks up so good, y'all. This is great for Thanksgiving, Christmas, any holiday. It's perfect because you just set it and forget it, all right? We also going to take a can of evaporated milk, 12-ounce can of evaporated milk, okay? Uh, I don't I don't exactly know what this stuff is, but I know I use it for cooking. What is evaporated milk? It doesn't look evaporated to me. If it was evaporated, wouldn't it just be air? I mean, this don't make no sense. All right. So our next step here, we're going to put in, we have three cups of shredded cheese. All right. So I have two cups of sharp cheddar and one cup of mozzarella. So y'all can use, you can do a different blend if you'd like. Um, Whatever you'd like. I, I like using this combination though because I feel like the mozzarella really is gets real nice and melty and the sharp cheddar gives a good flavor. One real important thing for this dish, y'all, I highly recommend shredding your own cheese. Now you can see there's some weird chunks because I shredded it myself and I'm not too good at that. But you need, a, you need to shred your own cheese because the bag cheese has like a weird anti-caking agent and it won't be good in this dish, all right? So three cups of shredded cheese. All right, just like that. Now... We're gonna put in, um, you know, we're actually gonna give it a little mix first. Let's see, we're gonna, actually, we're just gonna flatten it out. I was gonna mix it, but now I'm just gonna flatten it out, y'all, okay? All right, we're gonna do that. And now we're gonna put in cream cheese, eight ounces. We're just gonna put this right on top, y'all, right on top. Look at that. I love mac and cheese. It's one of my favorite things ever. All right, a little bit of seasoning. You can do whatever you'd like. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of garlic powder. I love garlic. Garlic makes everything better. Okay, we do a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. Y'all know I love my pink salt, a little bit. And then we also gonna do a little bit of black pepper. Now y'all don't need to put this in here, but I think it's good. All right, y'all, and all we gonna do is just cover this up. We're gonna let it cook for about two and a half to three hours, and we are gonna have one of the best mac and cheeses y'all have ever had. All right, y'all, so I think we are ready. I think our mac and cheese is done. Look at how good that looks, y'all. So really, we just need the noodles to cook. Um, I don't pers I don't mix it while it's cooking. I wait till it's done. But So we're just gonna mix it up right now. Oh, yes, look at that, y'all, those noodles. This is looking so good. Oh, my goodness. We're just gonna mix it up. Yes, y'all, this mac and cheese, you're gonna love it. I'm telling y'all, you just put everything right on in the crock pot. You let those noodles cook, you set it on low, I don't know, about two and a half, three hours. You just, you gotta check it, but you know it's done when the noodles are done. Y'all you should, should make this for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving or Christmas, your guests, everyone's gonna love it. It's so delicious, it's so creamy. So I'm gonna put some in my bowl right here. It's gonna be real hot, but you know what? We, I'm gonna take a bite because, do y'all know that I love mac and cheese? It's actually one of my favorite foods. It reminds me when I was a little kid and I just love it. And I'm gonna take a bite. I'm just gonna blow on it because I need to taste it, y'all. I need to taste it. It's just going to be so good. I'm going to taste it right now. Mmm. Y'all, this is so good. Y'all have to try this mac and cheese. It's seriously one of my favorite things ever. Enjoy. All right, y'all. I have uh, some broccoli. 
So this is uh, one of those large bags, 32 ounces of frozen broccoli. I thawed it out and I chopped it up. Half cup of onion, right on in, just like that. All right. Uh, one tablespoon of garlic. Look, y'all, I, I, I pretended like I was on one of those fancy cooking shows and pre-measured all my ingredients in pretty glass bowls. Uh, celery, half cup. Get that in there. All right. And uh, we're going to give this a little mix. We're making something real delicious. All right, y'all? Real delicious. So um, if y'all want to use fresh broccoli, you can. Actually, funny story, I sent my husband Fred to the grocery store, and I told him to get me fresh broccoli, so he got me frozen. So guess what? We're going to make it work, all right? So you know what, y'all? Sometimes you got to remind your husbands that they, they don't listen all the time, so you got you to, gotta, like, tell them a few times. All right. Two tablespoons of butter right on in, just like that. Okay, uh, then we're going to do some seasoning. Pepper, pepper, I don't know, however much you want, all right? Just some, some pepper, and uh, some pink Himalayan salt. Although I heard that this stuff isn't good no more. I don't know, I, I got to look it up. Someone sent me an article about how it's like not good, so we'll see. All right, so we're making this vegetarian, vegetable broth. Um, so I would say if you're using fresh broccoli, use four cups, which is this whole container. Since we're using frozen... There's still, there's some liquid in it. Oh, sorry, I'm splashing my camera woman. Sorry, <laughs> it's splashing at her. I'm gonna use about three cups, all right? So three cups if you're using frozen broccoli, and then we're using about a quarter cup of cornstarch. So cornstarch is just gonna um, help it thicken up a little bit, all right? So we're just gonna mix this in. I mean, I, I guess I read you're supposed to mix the cornstarch with the broth and then mix it in, but in my head, that don't make no sense, all right? We, everything's going to the same place, so guess what? Why would we dirty an extra bowl? Although I did dirty a lot of extra bowls for this recipe, so whatever. All right, I'm just contradicting myself over here. <laughs> All right, y'all, there we go. So now what we're going to do here, we have one more step for this, but we're making a delicious broccoli cheese soup, all right? So we're going to cover this. We're going to cook this on low for a couple hours, and then we have one more step, y'all. I'm so excited. All right, y'all, so this has been cooking on low for uh, almost three hours. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to give it a little stir here. All right. So now what we're going to do, we have some broth. Yeah, this is going to be great. So to this now, what we're going to do is add um, one cup of heavy whipping cream. Right on in. Heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to add four cups of cheese. So what I like to do, y'all, I like to do uh, one cup of pepper jack, just because it gives it a little zest. All right. And then about three cups of extra sharp cheddar. So y'all know how I measure. One. To, I should actually test and see if it's right. I feel like it probably is close. It's close enough. Three. All right. So now what we're going to do here is give this a little mix. Mix this up. And you know what? I'm going to eyeball it to see if I need to add more cheese. Let's see. Ooh, this is going to be delicious broccoli cheese soup, y'all. Um, so we got to mix this up. Oops, I'm splashing. I'm splashing. My little cat's going to be over here being like, give me some of that cheese. Okay, you know what, y'all? We need a little more cheese. We're going to do one more handful. One more handful of this uh, sharp cheddar. Because why not? Right? It's not going to make it worse. That's impossible. Okay. So now, y'all, what we're going to do here, I'm going to cover this back up. We're going to cook this on high for 30 to 45 minutes. And then I'm so excited to taste this delicious, delicious broccoli cheese soup. All right, y'all, so uh, remember I put the cheese and the heavy cream in here, and then uh, I just let it sit on high for about uh, 30 minutes, all right? So we're going to give it one final mix. So y'all, at this point, you have a few choices. Y'all can, um, can puree it, you know, if you have one of those handheld uh, immersion blenders, or you can leave it chunky like this. Um, you could also cut up your broccoli smaller before you actually make the soup, but... I don't know, I, I kind of like the big pieces, so I'm just gonna leave it like this, but again, y'all, it's totally up to you. So we're gonna put some in this bowl, get some of that broth. This smells real good, y'all. I love broccoli, and I love cheese. So you know what, how can this be bad? Y'all, you wanna know what, actually, I feel like this might be good with some bacon, but you know, you know how I feel about bacon. So right before I serve it, I like to do a little more cheese on top. Look at that, y'all, don't that look pretty? Gourmet, right there, gourmet, mm-mm. Uh, okay, so it's time to try it. Y'all, um, I literally just stopped cooking this, so it's going to be real hot. So we're just going to take a little baby bite. And get a little bit of that broccoli, a little piece. And I'm going to blow on it for a second. I'm looking for Kevin, but I don't know where he went. He was being crazy today, y'all. His new favorite thing is to, like, wake me up in the middle of the night to get pet. So, um, anyways. 
Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Okay. This might be my new favorite thing. Y'all have to try this. I'm going to keep eating my soup. 